Training.com, CWI prep course. Come visit us at our website at train-eng.com, pronounced training. This is our CWI prep course. This is a, as you go through some of these videos, these will be some snippets or samples out of our online training course. If you like what you see here in the sample section, come and visit us and take the course. Unlike a lot of other programs, we've got it set up so that you can do it a la carte. Um, if you only need, to, you know, we've got different parts of the CWI course broken out. So if you don't need to sit through and take safe practices for welding inspectors or you have some strengths that you know of and you want to streamline the process and only hit the sections where you don't really have a strong or strong background or a great deal of proficiency, our program is set up so you can take some of these parts of the CWI online course a la carte. Pick and choose, put together what you want, leave the rest, like a Chinese food buffet. CWI prep course, Crystal Structures, Module 8, Part 1. Learning Objectives. In this module, we're going to cover crystal structures, solid solutions, body-centered cubic lattice, face-centered cubic lattice, body center tetragonal lattice and the hexagonal close packed lattice. Crystal structures. The atoms in all solid metals are arranged in some def definite geometric or crystallographic pattern. The smallest grouping of atoms that has the complete symmetrical arrangement of the crystal is called a unit cell. The regular arrangement of these atoms is called a space lattice. A unit cell is much too small to be seen. When a great many unit cells are combined, however, they form a visible crystal that has the same geometric structure as the unit cell. A number of different geometrical arrangements of atoms are possible, but most metals have a space lattice that are basically shaped like cubes, tetragons, or hexagons. Crystal structures. Okay, we're going to get into this crystal structure thing. Atoms arrange themselves into different structures. Yeah, and here you have BCC, FCC, hexagonal close pack, and body-centered tetragonal. Um, you're going to hear these terms from here on out. You, you're going to run across these all the time. So you might as well just bite the bullet and learn these guys. Um, body-centered cubic BCC structure is iron and ferritic steels. Face-centered cubic is the FCC structure. It's the blue guy over here on the right. That's nickel and its alloys and aluminum and its alloys. Hexagonal close packed structure is titanium at room temperature, magnesium, and zirconium. Body centered tetragonal is iron, and that's iron after it's been quenched. So that's martensite. This gets to be important later on when we start talking about quenching and cooling of iron from a you know a high temperature down to a room temperature. Here's another picture of some uh, of the crystalline structures. You've got body-centered tetragonal unit. It's kind of a skewed guy over here on the left. You've got hexagonal close-packed. You've got body-centered cubic, and you've got face-centered cubic. I usually try and give you guys a couple of different variations of the, you know, any of these drawings, pictures, or concepts. There's a lot of good stuff out there in these army manuals, so I cut and copy and paste and throw those out there for everybody to enjoy. Solid solutions. Metal alloys contain at least two or more elements. Even pure metals typically contain some impurities. Two types of metal solutions. Substitutional solutions contain a solvent and a solute, where the solute occupies lattice sites of the solvent. Solid solutions. Um, you can see the solid solution, which is um, substitutional. One atom takes the place of another that's pretty much its size. It would be like having a back of a pickup truck filled full of soccer balls, and you got 50 soccer balls in there. Well, you're not going to fit any more soccer balls in there unless you substitute something. Something's got to come out of there, and something's got to go in. So you take... 25 soccer balls out and you put 25 volleyballs back in there 
they're about the same, about the same size. Not exactly, but plus or minus, they're pretty close. So you're substituting. That's what this copper nickel thing is about. Their atoms are about the same size. Well, let's say you have the same pickup truck and it's got um, those same 50 soccer balls in the back of it. You can dump in another 50 softballs and those softballs will find space in between the soccer balls. Those are interstitial sites. That's an interstitial solution. Interstitial solutions contain a solute that occupies non-lattice sites. The, car the carbon doesn't replace the iron. It just finds a spot in between the iron atoms. Same as dumping all those um, softballs into the back of a pickup truck filled with soccer balls. They're not taking anybody's place. They're not the same size. They're finding a spot in between. So that's kind of how I think of this solid solution thing. One's, one's taking its place and the other one's finding a hiding spot in between the bigger atoms. So in carbon, in carbon iron diagrams in the carbon iron system, carbon is the small atom. It's like a, a a softball it finds a spot in between two soccer balls so or basketballs if you're a soccer hater whatever but that's the analogies I use um, copper and nickel both have an FCC crystal structure that's why they can swap out and then iron has a BCC structure and carbon occupies the interstitial sites this is a common arrangement in steels body centered cubic lattice the body-centered cubic lattice contains nine atoms, one at each corner of the cube and one at the center of the cube. In this arrangement, each atom is held in position by the force of the remaining eight atoms. Metals that have the body-centered cubic arrangement are usually stronger but harder to work cold than metals that have a face-centered cubic arrangement. Some of the body-centered metals are molybdenum, vanadium, tungsten, columbium, and ferrite or alpha iron below its hardening temperature. This is a very important slide. This and the next couple. You know, if you really want to get into this metallurgy, but these are the basics of metallurgy. Face-centered cubic lattice. The face-centered cubic lattice contains 14 atoms, one at each corner of the cube and one at the center of each face of the cube. In this arrangement, the atoms are more dense, closely packed, than in the body-centered arrangement. Metals that have a face-centered cubic lattice structure include nickel, aluminum, copper, lead, gold, and silver. When steel is heated to the hardening temperature, the space lattice units in the grain structure transform from the body-centered cubic form to the face-centered cubic form. In this form, it is called austenite or gamma iron. At the elevated temperature at which austenite forms, the carbon in steel decomposes from its combined state as cementite, iron carbide, to free carbon. The free carbon then dissolves into the solid hot iron to form a solid solution of uniformly dispersed carbon in iron. This form of iron will dissolve up to a maximum of 2% carbon. In contrast, the body-centered alpha form of iron, ferrite, will dissolve a maximum of about 0.05% carbon. Body-centered tetragonal lattice. The body-centered tetragonal lattice contains nine atoms and looks like a body-centered cubic lattice stretched in one dimension. Recall that steel heated to its hardening temperature becomes a face-centered cubic material called austenite. If austenite is quenched at its hardening temperature and cooled rapidly to a temperature of less than 400 degrees F, it will change into martensite in a body-centered tetragonal arrangement. During the transformation from austenite to martensite, the steel becomes supersaturated with carbon. Because of its extremely high carbon content and the distortion of its structure, martensite is the hardest and most brittle form of steel. Hexagonal close packed lattice. The hexagonal close packed lattice contains 17 atoms. This structure does not have the high degree of symmetry evident in the cubic structure, and as a result, this type of structure is very difficult to deform. Metals that have this structure have little plasticity 
and are very difficult to cold work. Some examples of this type of metal are cadmium, cobalt, magnesium, titanium, zinc, and beryllium. Summary. In this module, we covered crystal structures, solid solutions, body-centered cubic lattice, face-centered cubic lattice, body-centered tetragonal lattice, and a hexagonal close-packed lattice. Our CWI, CWE online part A video course, $149. It's um, self-study, CWI exam. Everything's an online video course. We've got one section where it's questions, questions, and more questions. Um, we've got a whole number of CWI self-study question bank, 40 bucks. Come on in, take it, take a look, see. Um, if you just need questions, if you sat through another course and you just want to keep hitting the material, check out our uh, question bank, 40 bucks.